Hello and welcome back to Creative Pet Keeping. In today's video, I'm gonna take you on a little journey to discovering one of the fish that I've been trying to find for quite a long time. They're kind of rare. They are similar to my favorite fish and I got to see them in this very awesome little store called Agno Aquatics. It is located in Ohio in Broadview Heights and it is owned by two very passionate hobbyists and it's a really well-kept store that if you are in the Ohio area or if you're visiting the Ohio City, Cichlid Association. They have this really cool extravaganza every year in November. This is definitely a place that is worth checking out. So I have a little bit of footage from back in 2019 as well as from November of this year as well. So there I stumbled upon a group of blue ocelotus. So Lamprologus ocelotus blue and even though they kind of look a little similar to my Ocelotus Gold. They are quite different and they're really hard to come by. Kind of rare. I've been trying to find them for quite a while and I was super, super excited. Oh, look at his face. So I ended up bringing them home and here they are in their quarantine setup. So the tank is a 10 gallon. I've got a tiny bit of sand in there as well as some shells in case they do want to breed. I'm ready for it, but I do want to move them to a larger setup. I also have a sponge filter, a little heater in the back, as well as a big clump of moss. Now the main purpose of that moss is as a great hiding spot for the females. We have a group of four and my theory is that it's two boys and two girls. So the girls definitely need a place to be able to hide and run away where they will feel safe. Now these guys are as aggressive as the Ocelotus Gold. I've already gotten bitten by them multiple times and these guys will fight you. They're also shell dwellers, which means that they like to hide and live in little shells. They will also spawn in little shells, which is really fun to observe. One of the key differences in these particular fish is that their caudal fins as well as their anal fins are much more pronounced in terms of their yellow coloration because their body is a little darker it's lacking a lot of the yellow pigment. You still see the little beautiful sheen, but that looks a little more purple to me. So the Ocelotus Gold look more pink. These guys look a little more purple, which I think is kind of cool. And then the blue you actually see mostly on their face. And I guess the purple sometimes looks a little blue as well as the reflections under their eyes in their cheeks. So as you watch this footage, just take a close look and try to observe some of the differences. If you would like to see my Ocelotus Gold, I do have a pretty fun video where you get to see them attack Daniel. So you can check out how aggressive they are and then you can compare to yourself what differences you see between the two color varieties. I hope that you enjoyed this little video and I'll be showing you updates on these guys as I breed them in the future. Thank you for watching.